I've recorded another video on how half-lives work and how um, parent isotopes end up producing daughter products, but I wanted to show you the graph um, in most lab manuals and how that works to track that. And so what you'll see is on the x-axis, it's saying the number of half-lives that have passed. So one through, it'll go further than that. I'm just using a snippet. And then um, this is going to be the percent remaining of the parent isotope. So you start out with 100%, and as time passes this way, it decreases in the amount of parent isotope until you essentially go to zero. All right, so when you are trying to read this graph, um, there's two ways to go about it. If you know the number of half-lives that have passed, so let's say that there are three half-lives have passed, what you do is you would come up in here and say, okay, this is where my... Um, my line intersects there, I'm going to go across to there, and you would read this value off of here. On my chart, it happens to be labeled 12.5, but if you needed to read what that is, you could do that. And so in my chart, each of these lines on the y-axis represents 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you'll see that this comes across right around 12.5. Um, and then you could do the same thing. If one half-life is passed, we would go up and then over, and you would see that it's a 50% remaining. But again, in this version, um, they are actually labeled, so that makes it pretty easy. And then we can actually go the other way around as well. So let's say that you have 75% um, remaining. And so I would come over here and find my 75, which would be right here, so 50, 60, 70, 80. So 75 is right in between. And again, this just happens to be labeled. And then I would come down. And if you go on our actual graph in the lab manual, it ends up at the half mark right here is where that ends up roughly. Um, so you would read that off of there. Um, you can do another example and say, what if I have 25%, um, so 10, 20, 25 lands right in here. I would come over and then go down and it would be two half lives that have passed. So that's how the graph works. Um, they get a little tricky in here, so just make sure that you might want to use a ruler or something like that to keep your lines nice and straight, and um, that should get you started.